Good day, this is Brad Caleb, PhD. My PhD stands for Post Hole Decker. I've earned that degree going through the Desert University. For many, many years, I've been wondering about our foundation. And eventually I wrote a book called Deception Protocol. And I'm working on Deception Protocol Simplified with the powers to be in a society that we all seem to be frustrated with or getting frustrated with. PMS is not just some kind of a women's disease. It stands also for P stands for politics. M stands for money. And S stands for spirituality or religion. I designate those as the lying spirits three lying spirits described in the book of Revelations, a book that is in the Bible, the last book in the Bible. Those three spirits have caused a lot of havoc. And I wondered, we can so easily break somebody's heart, and it seems to be so hard to put the pieces together. Sometimes it is almost impossible. But folks, let's work on it today and see how we can put the pieces together so that at least you can have a great time while we are dealing with a very confused world. We are working on living healthy in an imperfect world. And remember, tough times never last, but tough people do. God bless you. Let's get started. What is causing all the commotion? We have a problem, and the problem seems to be that we are a confused nation. And I was just watching the news about a possible survivor after the blast in Beirut that was in August now 30 days later today the 30th day there is a potential possibility that somebody survived that which is almost impossible and I pray to God that this man will or person will make it but what when this person comes out what will happen then we are able and capable to do so many wonderful things to help somebody to revive him but what will happen with the restoration of their spirit? When they were down and out sitting there or laying there, I don't know what the position is or if they even will survive it, but let's assume that this person gets out of the ruins of Beirut and gets reanimated back in the hospital and he survives the blast or she survives the blast or it survives the blast. It could also be in human. Uh, it could be an animal. We don't know yet. But they hope it is in human being. What are we doing with our society, folks? How do we help to restore people? One of the ingredients of the destruction of our lifestyle has been Satan and, and as an occult. Satanic occultism. It is a word that we don't like to talk about. But occult spirituality is on the rise, even among Christians. Why am I so concerned about that word Christianity? Because Christianity has always been influenced by, from the beginning actually, by the occult. Do we even realize how Christianity came about? See, when a person by the name of Yeshua HaMashiach became the one that was anointed by the Spirit of God to 
be an example, to be the first one, the first person, the first human being to be reunited with God Almighty. When that intercept was restored, he became the example. He was not God. He was a person that followed God in every detail. And he became the first one that restored the relationship with God Almighty. And therefore God said, I will make you my son. Like God says to us, I will make you my son if you do the following. And now we have a problem. Is Christianity the proper way of following Yeshua HaMashiach? See, when we look at the foundation of it all, and when we look at the collapse of this society, we wonder, what in the world are we doing? But it is so simple. If you make a sand castle, and you build it all from sand, you're so excited, and then the first race come, and all of a sudden, kaboosh, everything is gone. Of course, we understand that sand is sand, and sand doesn't have a solid foundation. But the foundation that we, as followers of Yeshua HaMashiach, we're supposed to be built on a rock. That's why we call it deception protocol. Because simplifying the problem that we are facing is not so much that we are Christians, we are Pentecost, we are this, we are that, we are whatever belief we call ourselves. But what is our foundation, folks? So what is it exactly that is holding people back of fully experiencing the wonderful relationship that they can have between God and mankind? See, I talked about the intersection. When God meets mankind, there was an impossible way. Like, the structure was very simple. We all know the story about Adam and Eve. They failed in paradise and they got kicked out. But how did it get restored? How was the relationship restored? It's so simple in our society to step on somebody's toes, but once people are upset, how do you relate? How do you restore the relationship? That is what we're talking about. How do we restore the relationship between God and mankind? Yeshua HaMashiach was the first person that did it right and God anointed him and God blessed him and said through you he became the way the way means we are supposed to follow and I've had the privilege that we had a property <coughs> with trees and some hills some water in Canada so I do understand a bit more about when you deal with a path through a forest you got to follow the path, because if you go left or right, you get stuck. You get stuck in, in a forest, or you get stuck in a morass, in a place where there is a lot of traps, or are a lot of traps. So the question is, 
where are we on the way not who am I because I am nothing I'm a follower of Yeshua HaMashiach and I got stuck stuck in a rut we're all here it's so often people that try to convince you you got to buy this product or that product or follow their uh, whatever they want to promote but if you're stuck in a rut have you ever wondered why you got stuck you're mad at your wife you're mad at your husband you're mad at your children you're mad at the situation you're mad about just about everything and right now is not a very good place to be mad about because we are in a pandemic and you should be well prepared for it that you keep your peace because when we keep our peace that peace that passes all understanding that can help us sustain the pressures of this society that peace is the one that will lead you to the father and why am i promoting this so much because folks i fought it for many years too i fell for the same traps as most people fall we live in a society that is in turmoil but we can be restored if we want to p m s we got to understand first the power of the politics that is going on we got to understand the power of money and we have to understand the power of religion because religion has become a power tool in the hands of satan like occultism is a spirituality that is on the rise why because he knows the satanic organization knows that the time is getting close and so there are two declarations coming from a royal family whistleblowers satan is an occult title not a person or a thing the satanic elements are a cult that brings into a false reality their unusual belief people focus too much on their belief and they don't realize that it's all intertwined with satanic occultism isn't that sad when God says there is one God but me, that means there is one God. If there is one road through to him, that means there is one way. If that way is called Yeshua HaMashiach, why are we calling it whatever we want to call it under the sun, except the way God intended it to be, the way to get connected with him. God is God Almighty. And if our Jewish brethren discovering that Yeshua HaMashiach is the way to God, that is awesome. But what about all those other people that call themselves believers and fail to recognize that they are based or intertwined with so much occultism, occult, satanic rites, people that are praying based on what Satan teaches. Is wrong folks we have to check ourselves we have to verify what are we doing today am I praying the prayer of our Father which art in heaven hallowed be your name your kingdom come your will be done God's will not my will or my society's will or my church will but God's will be done I've God's will is to be restored with you and he gives you this opportunity no matter what you face today that means take the chance grab that chance now is the time folks under all this pressure with all the frustration living in an imperfect world is not an excuse it is only a reason why you should seek the kingdom of God for he is our source to get peace to get serenity in life and to know that i am an overcomer through jesua hamashiach so following that path i will get to the father and that is what it's all about and remember tough times never last but tough people do god bless you bye for now